Benson tenderloin and stir fried vegetables. It's great. That loin is about an inch and a half to two inches in diameter, and it's excellent. Now, I was trying to think of something that we had done in 40 years to, uh, to kind of put in this video, and this is what we come up with. Um, me and Bobby ran across this guy one day walking down the road, and I uh, don't recommend doing this at home. Uh, you know, sometimes when you get older, you look back and kind of think why you did something when you were young. Well, I felt very uh, comfortable doing this because I had done it pretty much all my life. But uh, Bobby would take one back uh, if he happened to run across a big one uh, to a critter cook where he lives at. And uh, he's got a real good recipe, and we might come up with a recipe on that. But... Hang on, hope you enjoy it. Stir fried vegetables and tenderloins. These are tenderloins off the deer. I've already cleaned them up and I've taken them out and what we're going to do is go ahead and just cut them in half and um, we're going we're gonna to leave them in this pan over here for probably about a, maybe an hour before we cook it, let it get to room temperature like a steak. These are little pieces here that came off of the side. Once you start cleaning them, it's got a little strip on each side. You want to save that. Don't throw that away. Here we go with our Worcestershire sauce. Sprinkle a little bit of that Worcestershire sauce on it. Then we're going to come back and put Montreal steak seasoning and salt. Don't put up, we'll just put a little bit on that. And now we're going to go get our vegetables ready. We love zucchini squash. Stir fried. Um, we're going to cut, we're going to cut them up. And like I say, in the past, past 40 years, we've got a bunch of a video on our friends. That's why it's named Billy Bob and Friends. And we gonna we're gonna have a little flashback here in just a minute. Figure out who we gonna flashback on. We got our mushrooms. We're gonna dump our mushrooms in there with a little bit of mushroom juice. And then also cut out and you know stick it in there. There's nothing going to make any difference you get too close to one of these. When are you going to quit messing with them things anyway? Well, it just keeps the old gentleman flowing. <laughs> Bill. Bobby. Uh-uh, no. Wait. No. Look what we done. Uh-uh, don't mess with that thing. Look what we done found here. There's little rattlers on that thing. Oh, man, uh-uh. So we just want to show y'all you know, where we hunt. This is, uh, this is one of the most dangerous things that we have to put up with when we're out in the woods hunting. And, uh... Just wanted to show you this. Uh, oh, listen, Bill. <laughs> Wait. Uh, uh. Don't be crazy. What you gonna do? We're not gonna kill him. We just, we just gonna catch him and uh. Gonna catch him. Yeah. We showed you the thing about the abdomen last year, about below it, the little loops, below the abdomen. It was uh. That's how you tell if it's not, not poisonous. Of course, most people they. I don't care. I don't want to look at it. Oh. You see how far that thing stuck? He can strike a long way. Now, we don't recommend doing this. Anybody doing this? What if he gets loose? Bill. Uh uh. No. Oh, Bill. All right. He was just squirting some stuff out. Uh -uh. Tell you. See his rattlers? Look at all those rattlers. He just uh he just let off a scent. That's probably that's one of their uh. Don't get that thing too close to me. Let me just stay right there. Yeah, let's see, he's got... Uh, Unbelievable. He's got 14 rattles and a button, what it looks like so far. That thing can kill you. Yeah, but if you look below the abdomen, you see a whole still. See how the lines go straight across? Yeah. That's that's one way you can tell, you know, a poison snake or not. That's a big snake. It is. Let's look, look at his mouth. Oh, gosh, yeah, he's got... Look at those fangs. Oh, God. 
if you get too close to them, the rattlers, they, they got a warning system. And that's the first thing. Uh, they don't, snakes aren't, uh, they don't want to hurt anybody. But if you get too close, that's that's a warning system right there. So that lets you know you're too close and leave them alone. You ever stepped on one without him rattling or something? Uh, no, I'm sure that, that's, but that's the worst part of it. But normally if you hear them rattling, the best thing to do is just stop and look and try to figure out where they're at and just uh, figure the best way out of, out of dodge, I reckon. Listen, uh, I've only seen a couple of them. He's, he's flattened out. That's another way that they the protect their stuff. They, they'll flatten out and make themselves a half half a size bigger than what they usually are. So, uh, That's wicked. I don't want nothing to do with it. Anyway, we're not going to kill him because, you know, we just want to let him go. And <laughs> you sure about that? Aren't rattlesnakes good to eat? Yeah, but this one's probably not big enough. <laughs> we're going to let him go and, uh, like I say, it's... Them, they're really unique in their own way. So. Yeah. I just like to go around it. Yeah. <laughs> that might be unique, but you can have all those you want. Get the onions in first. Let them start cooking. Okay, we put a little bit of olive oil in there. Get the zucchini on top of it. We're going to lower season of salt. We put a whole lot. The cormac. Steak season is all on there, a little bit of that too. Go ahead and put a dash of old Worcestershire sauce in there. Put our mushrooms in there. Don't, uh, don't overcook it. Now we're going to cook this probably uh, three minutes on both sides. Another thing that's going to make this is that juice that you see down in there coming from the, from the loin. It's going to mix in here with these vegetables. And that's, going to give it, that's what's going to give it a real good taste. Two minutes on that side. We'll flip it over. We we uh we had these these loins. We put them in the cooler for uh, five to seven days. Let them age. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this oven off. And this is the reason you got you got two pans. We're going to dump this in there. You hear it? Like it. You can hear it sizzling. Hear it? Anytime you hear something sizzle like that, you know it's doing good. The lawns are probably about half done right now. Cook three, three minutes on both sides, they're about half done. Put the lid on it. And I'm going to say put the lid on it for one minute. And then we're going to cut it off and let it rest. Mmm. Well, this is really good. Well, I hope you enjoy it. And we'll see you next time on Billy Bob's Gonna Cooking.